What's up, Geeks and Gamers? My name is Draymond, and welcome to Thorium Gaming, and it's time to get our Merc on. We're back with Thorium Mercs. For the last little bit, we've been working hard to help the Arana Restoration out, and the Sword of Restoration herself. And now it's time to do something for her in particular, where we have to go save Lord Madeira. He was part of our crew, and we're going to get him back. So, we're going to do that in just a minute here. We do have our Thunderbolt that's still out of action because it lost an arm. But that's not a big deal because we're going to be traveling in a little bit here. First things first, let's go in and check out our mech warriors. Ready for orders. Receiving you. See if we can get some of their skills up. Mech warrior training complete. Training confirmed. A little bit of training never hurt anybody. A lot of training hopefully will hurt our opponents really, really badly. Then, uh, orders. Okay, so we're good on that. Our mechs are being repaired, so let's go into the contracts and get set up to go and extract Lord Madeira. We're still doing really well on our finances. We have over 10 million sea bills, though that'll take a hit in 10 days. More significant hit, too, because we are hey boss. done with our hydroponic garden. So let's actually go into our upgrades right now. See if we can do something else to make things a little bit easier on our lives. Let's grab that refit harness. See if we can upgrade the Argo a little bit more. Get the nice cinematic view as we head towards the jump ship. At least this time we're not jumping to a moon that's uh, not on a regular jump path. So we're good. It's a really, really old reference, I guess. There's our financial report coming in. But that jump reference was to when we had to go jump and pick up the Argo itself. See how things can go on out. Stoked for the next update to Battletech. I don't have any real details on it right now, but given that Urban Warfare and the second one, whose name I kind of forget at the moment, were incredible additions to the game, and that I'm really loving it, well, more content is more content, and it'll be great. Still haven't had a chance for us to find a Cyclops yet, which would be probably one of the best assault mechs we could get for our Lance. Alright, let's proceed. Dead drop in orbit around Guldra. We're picking up a transmission on the restoration distress frequency, Commander. The time stamp is marked a couple of hour ago, hours ago. It's from Lord Madeira. Kamea, by the time you receive this message, I'll have been captured. Crap. I've got hostiles closing in all around me as I'm recording this. I don't know how much time I have left. Listen, the evidence is hidden in a dead drop. It was the best I could do, given the circumstances. Go to my grandfather's monument, you remember, the place where we laid him to rest, in the mountains, the Directorate paved it over and built a structure right over top of it. Look there, and you'll find what you need. I can hear the sound of splintering hardwood. They're coming through the door, and I'm out of time. Pray that I see you again, but if I don't, I need you to win this war. Do whatever you have to do, just finish it. Not for me, but for our people. Goodbye. The image on the view screen cuts out, and the only sound you can hear is the hiss of static. I'll start putting together a rescue team. Leave space for me. I'm coming with you. Oh, she is. First we recover Alexander, then we focus on picking up the evidence and getting the hell off Geltra. We've got Lord Madeira's subdural transponder signal on my screen. They're moving him probably in an APC. If we launch mechs now, we may be able to catch up to it. Oh, background for a merchant guard. Funny thing about guarding convoys for a living. You learn as much about stopping them as you do about keeping them safe. Then we better put that expertise to use. Assemble your lance, Commander. Three of your best. I'll be joining you in the atlas we recovered from Cap Castle Nautilus. Oh, she's going to be inside a an atlas. That's going to be awesome. Time is of the essence. Let's retrieve that evidence and bring Madeira home. Alright, so we have Kamea in an atlas too. But we're wanna, going to want to go in hard and heavy for this. So, Ryan, unfortunately, you're going to be sitting out. We're going to be taking me, Bloodwind, and Phoenix into this. Make it a full assault lance. 
course, foreknowledge of this particular encounter is going to help us out as well. Command interface initiated. How are we looking, Darius? You're approaching the convoy. Alexander's locator signal puts him in an APC in the middle of the group. It's surrounded by a pack of armed escorts. How close are they to that refueling depot? Close. From the director of transmissions we've intercepted, I can tell you that there's a small group of attack vehicles waiting at the depot. The good news is, is that their communications are down, and they'll start prepping to depart for a local repair yard. If you engage the convoy out of the attack vehicle's sensor range, they should depart on their own. Like I said, they're on a schedule. But if they catch sight of you before they leave, you'll have to contend with them too. Alright. So let's take a look at the map real quick. We have a nice little hill here that would give us the high ground against anything that could be there, and the convoy itself. I think we're going to use that to our advantage. So let's sprint that Atlas to the Highlander, our Zeus, and our Battlemaster all over in line with the mountain. We're going to go up this hill and see if we can engage the convoy away from the escorts. We have to keep Kamea alive, but she's in an Atlas too, so that shouldn't be too terribly difficult. We're probably going to take some damage on this, knowing this mission as I do. It could get a little dicey later on, but we're going to have to just deal with it. Try and stay out of the enemy sensor range as much as Ready possible. Acknowledged. Moving out. Hostile on sensor. Alright, so we've got one mech and two vehicles. I'm assuming one of them, probably this one here, is the APC. Oh, nope, that would be the APC there. 10 ton mech. Or 10 ton vehicle, I should say. Not a mech. So if we go down and engage the enemy forces, it's a medium at 55 tons on initiative 3. I do love the fact that this mission, well all missions, are never the same twice. The enemies do not spawn until you get a visual on them. So it's just a 55 ton mech. Or it could be in sensor range. It's very tempting. Our Battlemaster doesn't have that great of armor. If we can get line of sight, we can launch off at least one salvo before anything bad happens. So Sprinting Phoenix will give us a distinct advantage. That's a heavy vehicle right there. I was scared it was going to be a... That's a Griffin. Receiving you. Roger. Alright, we got an LRM-15. We've got a pair of strikers. Let's see if we can eliminate one of the strikers. They've got a sensor lock on me. Finish off that wounded striker, hopefully. Enemy unit destroyed. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. And Kamea, you do not have jump jets. I'll make it happen. You have an LRM-20. Let's see if you can kill off that other striker. Not quite. That's a heavy LRM turret. Reporting. Follow me to victory. All right, so that's the APC, and it should be the Striker and the Griffin. Then the other vehicles here. The APC has reached the refueling depot, Commander. Take out those escorts. The 
Griffin didn't move. We're gonna have to change Phoenix's facing, probably. And he's an ace pilot, so he gets to move after he's fired. It's a good thing that Phoenix is our brawler. And the striker is an ace pilot as well. The armor on his right side is probably getting a little low. Which is not a good way to start things off here. They should turn him a bit. Let's go for a torso shot on him with everything Phoenix has. A headshot hurting Phoenix. Good to go. Get Bloodwin up so she's in direct line of sight. So we'll swap out half of her weapons. Firing on multiple enemies. I was kind of hoping we'd kill that striker, but. Didn't quite work out that way. But we did expose the structure on the Griffin. We jump up here. Should have line of sight. And be able to multi-target. We can send the LRMs down, hopefully finish that striker. Not seeing any fancy Nancy explosions. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. I think we'll just sprint Kamea up, get her up into the action a little bit. And that is definitely a heavy LRM turret. The directorate must spawn. Is that the Griffin shooting at us? And he's just removed himself from cover. So Phoenix might be able to melee him. Got a bulldog down there. Battlemaster definitely taking some heavy damage overall. One single large laser on a Zeus is not going to hurt it. That bulldog's an ace pilot. Alright, let's make sure that our Highlander isn't in a precarious situation. Let's see what we can do to eliminate some of these bad guys down on the ground. There's a bulldog down. Damaged Bulldog. That's a Manticore. Morning. Detecting mech warrior injury. These guys are getting really good at shooting for our heads when yes, they're not really in line of sight of us. Affirmative. So let's advance the Zeus down a little bit. Multi-target on both of these, see if we can eliminate something else. Manticore is not going to die, but we should kill off that Bulldog. Reporting vehicle destroyed. 
Phoenix, since you're running hot anyway. Get those machine guns out and in. Destroy a jump jet, knock off an arm. And then Kamea. Kamea does have multi-target. So she's got two ER at large lasers, which I think we're going to send down after... Yeah, that looks like a good loadout. We're going to split her fire as effectively as we can. And there's a griffin down. That's it, the last of the escorts down and the APC is ours. Alexander, can you hear me? What the hell just happened? Alexander! Don't worry about your precious pet, cousin. I have him right here with me. All safe and sound. You, on the other hand, are anything but safe. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Alright, so we got a fire starter. And a locust behind us. We're gonna have to eliminate those mechs and then work our way up the road. Alright, I really want to eliminate that manticore. This is gonna leave Bloodwind slightly exposed, but not too badly. Okay, yeah, that was a waste of missiles, in, in actual fact. One for the scrap Alright, Phoenix. I know it's rough terrain. But we're going to get you up here, and we're going to see what you can do. About coring him. Locked up. Oh, we got through his armor. If I jump up here to keep my evasion high, that fire starter is actually more dangerous than anybody gives it credit for. Flamethrowers on mechs that are already running pretty hot are a bad thing. any luck, we won't have to deal with those missiles coming in at us for very much longer. We are, however, going to probably get pretty close to an overheat here, shut off the ER large lasers, and hope for a headshot. Now we just need to see what that locust is going to do. Uh, the director must have learned about Lloyd Madera's subdermal transponder and cloned the signal. Keep fighting down there. Sir Meyer and I are working a way to get a fix on his actual location. Work quickly, Dr. Murad. This could be our only chance at finding him. Not bad, cousin. But I am not finished with you yet. And it's a bad idea to move out of cover like that, Mr. Locust Pilot. You're really not going to like what happens to you right about now. Though we can't see it. Alright, so Bloodwind, who is usually our long-range specialist... Just did a major amount of damage. We'll get Phoenix down there, let him cool off. We'll get the Highlander and the Atlas down to help out as well. I'm listening. Affirmative. 
So now we gotta push up towards the road. Not seeing anything on sensors right now. Enough of these games, Kamea. Do you want to win little Alex back? Come and find me. We'll be waiting for you. Won't we, Lord Madeira? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kamea. I evaded capture for as long as I could. But... That sound you just heard was his jaw, Kamea. It was every bit as fragile as I thought it would be. Consider this a promise kept from our first reunion. I'm coming for you, Victoria. Do you hear me? Communication terminated. Alright, now we have incentive to go make sure that Victoria suffers. Tell me what you need. Kamea, if we move you there, the move. your ER large move lasers up. can fire, and your LRMs. Move the Highlander up front. We don't want the Battlemaster in fire more than we have to have it. Scratch one more vehicle. Okay, that LRM turret is really starting to get frustrating. Standing by. Sprint Phoenix up into cover here. We have one turret on sensors. We got two vehicles, an 80 ton and a 60 ton. At least we're spreading the damage out over our mechs, so that not a single one of them is getting too heavily damaged. It's not yet. Later Rano, I've got a fix on Lord Madeira's transponder signal. He's being moved. It looks like they're taking him to the most heavily reinforced directed stronghold on Goldra. Miss Meyer, I need you to pick us up and carry us to Alexander's APC. It's the only way we can reach him before it's too late. That's a negative, Lady Arano. I'm reading dozens of anti-aircraft guns and missile turrets around that stronghold. If I tried to fly you in, they'd blow me out of the sky. Damn it, what are our options? If you take off at a dead sprint, you might be able to catch them. It'll be pretty dicey, though. I'm seeing a lot of mechs between you and Lord Madeira. And we'll have no time to retrieve the evidence that he gathered. The evidence can wait. We have to... <sighs> Damn it. That intel is vital to our war effort, and it's nearly in our grasp. I... I cannot risk the future of the Reach for one man. Mr. Oliveira, I need you to give me the coordinates of Lord Madeira's dead drop. Forgive me, Alexander, but your rescue will have to wait. Roger that, Lady Arano. I'm marking the coordinates on your map now. Every fiber of my being is screaming at me to not abandon Lord Madeira. To drop everything and rescue him, as I know he'd rescue me. In leaving him, I betray myself. It's the right call. And it's what he wanted you to do. For your people. Alexander. Have my attention. Accelerating to maximum speed. Alright, that's gonna be a ow, punishing hit on our battle master. We gotta knock out that LRM turret. Ready for orders. Is there any way we can get line of sight on that enemy vehicle? Does not look like it. So let's sprint over here. Alright, we got some structure exposed on our Battlemaster. I'm hoping that our left side isn't that important. And our PPC is on the right. 
We don't want to get in line of sight of the turret just yet. No shooting, just running. That's a Shrek PPC carrier. Where's all my armor? Waiting for orders. Phoenix, we're gonna hold you back for just a moment and see if I can jump into line of sight of one of those. There we go. Engaging jump jets. That is most definitely the heavy LRM turret. Didn't manage to kill it. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Alright, Bloodwind. I copy. Get you to advance. Multi targets. Hopefully that'll deal with Multiple the LRM turret. Alright, that's no more missiles coming in. Pretty sure that turret was the one that did the sensor lock. Yes, I hear you. All right, Kamea, we're gonna get you to move up I'm and moving. finish that turret off. For the Oregon Reef. Destroyed. And there's the turrets down. There's a hit on our armor. Armor low. Aye, aye. So is that his right side? It's his left side. So we'll face the right side towards the enemy. Fire off a few lasers of that mana core. Our battle master is just getting beat up. Standing by. Can't really rely on yet that AC twenty to do all of what we need it to do. Aye, aye. If we pull up our Zeus, we are almost L L L eh, out of LRMs. really want to advance Phoenix into a place where he's going to get even more screwed up. But if I sprint up here, give us a line of sight on the Manticore, you have my attention. and allow Kamea to take a couple of pot shots at it. face his left side to them. Let's see what we can do right here. That's not too bad. Vance, get rid of the stability damage. Let's finish that guy off. Might be a little bit of overkill, but... Allows us to focus fire on the last 
vehicle, which is a Shrek. That was 150 points of armor ripped right off of Bloodwind's chassis. Why don't you go answer that? Alright, so that takes care of that Manticore, or the Shrek PPC launcher. And we are out of LRMs on Bloodwind, which is not good. We're going to have to start using Ke Ka Kamea a little bit more aggressively. Her surviving is a mission objective. We've got to get up to the top of this hill. I'll do what you ask. Battlemaster's in pretty rough shape. I want Kamea to go up a little bit quicker. Appears we all have better piloting skills than Kamea does. I'm moving out. And there is a specific reason why I'm spreading us out like this. Copy that. Again, pre-warned is pre-armed. Unless it's going to force us to actually activate it, which I think it's going to do. Okay, so I was going to be all cheeky and try to game the system, but it's not going to let me game the system. Receiving you. Affirmative. Ready for orders. Acknowledged. All right, receiving the data now, Lady Rano Commander. I'm going to have to ask that you stay near the relay until the upload is finished. Keep it protected. You know the drill. And just a heads up, you've got enemy reinforcements on the way. So this is what I was going to try and fight without fighting. Hopefully it'll let us shoot. It's not going to let us shoot. But we are going to slightly game the system. We do have to stay within the covered area to upload the data, but we can sit there with all of our units afterwards. Right now the big key is we've got to keep Phoenix's Battlemaster alive. If we have to punch him out, we'll punch him out. But there are a lot of enemy battle mechs, including a couple down here we can't quite see yet. We're going to devastate these two, a commando and a hunchback. That was some laser spam. A lot of laser spam. It's all on Kamea too, which is not a good thing, but it's not necessarily the end of the world. And we got a Thunderbolt. Still not through the Atlas II's armor. What we got for the last medium? An Enforcer! We know how good they are. Armor's still holding on the Atlas. Alright, should be all us in this phase. So let's see what we can do about knocking out at least one of these. Or I could core the the commando and just call it done with that. Yes. Phoenix, we're going to have you sprint down here. We want to keep you out of the fight for a little while longer. So you have 
very little armor in a lot of places. Kamea, we're going to move you down and face you slightly up towards the enemy. Big thing. Try to core him. Discharging weapon. Definitely a pretty big hit on that Hunchback. And while Bloodwind's probably going to take a little bit of damage here. If we go for the Torso, since the arm is destroyed. That'll get rid of all those lasers and basically defang that Hunchback. So we know there's at least one light still out there somewhere. There's another medium. LRM5. Barely scratched my armor. And there's structure exposed on blood. Our assault mechs are taking some heavy, heavy hits. Which isn't good for us. We'll get Kamea to melee the Hunchback. I'll jump up and see if I can Alpha the Thunderlord. If we can take him out, good headshot would do it. We don't have to worry about too much. Okay, the structure on the Atlas is exposed. She has the most powerful weapons out of our entire arsenal, so we don't damage. want to lose her in any way, shape, or form. All right, Kamea. Tell me what you need. Confirmed. Closing range. Follow me to victory. And there's another mech down. I'm going to jump right there. Try to go for another headshot. Bloodwind, where is your structure exposed? Your right arm. Which, technically speaking, only has your LRMs on it now. Can we turn you, though? Turn you a little bit, see if we can spare some of your armor. And Phoenix will put you back up into the cover over here. You're heavily damaged. We still get to fire your PPC. The directorate must fall. So we got at least three max. There's one light for sure. Second light. It's a little spider. That'll be a medium. Some more structural damage on blood. Um, getting toe to toe with an assault mech is not a good idea, Mr. Enforcer. Our retaliation is going to be pretty swift and brutal. What did it reveal? It's a shadow hawk. You have my attention. Copy that. Alright, Kamea, we're gonna get you up here, and you're gonna go for the headshot. Even though you got a low chance. There's a second pilot injury. And he's unsteady now. Ooh, Bloodwind, you're in some pretty rough shape here. Position confirmed. Split your fire a little bit. Splitting fire. 
See if we can knock him over. Because there's a pilot injury. And if the knockdown incapacitates him, that would be great. And it did incapacitate him. So there's the Thunderlord out of the fight. Standing by. Moving out. We'll get you to come up here, Phoenix. And just unleash hell on that Enforcer. That was some seriously heavy damage to the Enforcer. Now, will that let me melee him on that side? It will. So with any luck, we'll blow out his center torso here. Left torso hurt. And his leg went out. Not exactly the telling hit we wanted. That's got to be a Jenner. And it is a Jenner. Spider will probably jump in and fire its two medium lasers. The Shadowhawk is the biggest threat that's left. What is it with the Directorate Forces having a whole bunch of ace pilots lately? That's no matter. There's another ace pilot. The Enforcer will get up. That's another ace pilot. And it chose to melee instead of using that auto cannon. It's a little different. Kamea, why don't you return the favor? I am going to step up here, do a precision strike on the Shadow Hawk, and hopefully hit it in the head. Bloodwind. You could melee. That would knock that Enforcer down, too. Down he goes again. Commander. Phoenix doesn't have multi-target. That's the big issue here. If we move him there, On the move. he can fire at the Enforcer with that PPC and go for a center shot, maybe knock it out. Bingo. That's exactly what we wanted. For the Oregon people. Now he'll ace pilot move. And the spider will do the same. I'm taking heavy hits. See what the Shadowhawk does. Shadowhawk's the only one I'm worried about because of the AC it has. See, that was a mistake, Mr. Shadowhawk. I just took a heavy hit. That was an even bigger mistake, getting into close range with assault mechs. Alright, Kamea, we're gonna have you multi-target. On the spider. And on your new friend up close. Knock the evasion charge off the spider. Which should, in theory, allow Phoenix to do a heck of a lot of damage to it. Reporting a critical strike. Alright, Bloodwind. Standing by. You can see his flank there. Okay, and there goes his right torso. I think I hit something good. Ordered. That should keep your Heading left out. facing towards them. Mm -hmm. 
Turn your PPC off, Phoenix. And one of your lasers, it appears. We'll go for a precision strike and see if we can knock its leg out. Well, that's going to make it far easier to deal with. I'm going to back up a little bit and multi-target. Put our Gauss Rifle on the downed Jenner. A little bit of a roulette wheel here. Huh? Roulette wheel here, that's what I meant to say. So it'll be that spider moving first. It's gonna shoot and then move. And it's just gonna change its facing. Jenner's gonna get up, but it can't do a whole lot. It's hurt. Okay with them shooting at the Highlander right now. We still got a lot of armor. But it's not getting any evasion charges. And the Shadowhawk's gonna melee. On an atlas. They're stripping armor off of my mech. Yes, I hear you. Well, why don't you return the favor, Kamea? Going hand to hand. Pierce through the armor. Waiting for orders. And Phoenix, that's still within the woods. Coordinates received. Let's see what you can do about taking out a Jenner. Enemy down. That'll do it. Ready for orders. And Bloodwin puts you there for now. Target acquired. Gonna knock down the Shadow Hawk. I don't think that'll kill it though. And for once, I'm not gonna move. Oh, well, maybe I am gonna move just enough to be able to multi target. I'll send one laser over to B as well. There's an arm and torso destroyed. Alright, so we're down to an enemy spider. We can move all of our troops in and start collecting for fire. I almost feel bad for that poor little spider. I did say almost. I didn't say I actually felt bad for him. Okay, now I feel bad for him. That was a center torso core shot with an AZ-20. And everything else got blown up as well. Alright, so now we get to the easy part. We can just sprint everyone into the data collection range and get the evidence that Lord Madeira basically sacrificed himself to get for us. Surmire. What is this, cousin? You're running, leaving more Ma Lord Madeira behind? Thought that you would do anything for each other. I will take him back from you, Victoria. Personally. I look forward to it, Kamea. In the interim, you know that your dearest friend will languish as I languished in Corosus, Lord Corosus's dungeons. I swear I can talk. I will make him suffer in your stead. I know what I'm abandoning him to, Victoria, as does he. Alexander is more courageous than either of us, and if you hurt him, I will kill you myself. I swear that on my father's name. Mission successful.
good amount of sea bills. We got to repair our mechs now. And 12 days for me and Phoenix to go sit in the med bay. Lots of salvage though. That'll give us a fire starter and some mech parts if we really want it. Let's see if there's any plus plus weapons in here before we start going on mech hulls. Some medium lasers. Ooh, there's a 30 stability damage PPC in there. I want the PPC, not the medium laser. There we go. We'll see what the rest of it is what we get. Looks like we picked up a spider in the process. So insurance policy in orbit over Goldra. Dr. Murad, have you gotten that archive cracked open? I want to know what's inside and I want to know it now. Yes, Lady Arano, I just finished cracking the encryption. There's a lot here, ledger, spreadsheet, cost analysis, and a single hollow file. I recognize the coding on that file. My father authorized his archivists in House Madeira to install a hollow recording system in the Arano Palace before his death. It was meant to preserve an ongoing record of important diplomatic events. The system must still be active, and Alexander's family had access to it. Well, go ahead and put it on the view screen, Doctor. Let's see what we lost Lord Madeira for. Roger that, Commander. Here goes. I understand your hesitancy, Daughter. It's a difficult thing, what I'm asking you to do. But this galaxy is a hard and uncaring place. If our Directorate is to thrive, we must be even harder. I have no qualms about killing for the greater glory of the Directorate Father, but this? Please, help me understand. Show me the wisdom in carrying out this attack, because I cannot see it myself. Broaden your perspective, Victoria. Think beyond the reach, beyond the periphery. Our Directorate is growing stronger, but we stand amongst giants. To the successor states, we are nothing. A tin-pot dictatorship in a galactic backwater. To be ignored or crushed as they please. If we are to survive in the long term, we need a strong ally, but we have nothing to offer in return. We cannot change our circumstances. The reach is comparatively small and poor, and that is how it will remain. What we can do is shift the political balance of the periphery. By engineering conflict, we can give ourselves value, as a buffer state, an ally of convenience. And by doing this to perdition, you'll create the conflict you seek? Yes, your target is a port city that serves as the primary supplier of perdition's aerospace bases. A chemical strike there will look like a backdoor attempt to undermine Calderon's military readiness. He'll assume that the method of attack was chosen for the purpose of plausible deniability. And when he points his finger at House Davian in response, I will quietly approach him with an offer of support. And if this embroils us in a war with the Federated Sons? It won't. Calderon will not strike without proof. Despite his fears to the contrary, the periphery is beneath House Davian's notice. We'll be the Concordiate's silent partners in a cold war that never goes hot, and the Reach will grow stronger than it ever could on its own. And if our attack fails, if I'm caught, then our Directorate will perish, and us alongside it. But inaction isn't an option, Victoria. An alliance built on a lie is better than no alliance at all. And our Directorate cannot survive indefinitely in a vacuum. I cannot trust this task to, a task this sensitive to any mercenary. It has to be someone who truly loves the Reach, who understands the price of failure. I don't enjoy ordering you to do this, but I am trying to accomplish in five years what House Arano should have done across the span of three lifetimes. To safeguard the Reach on such a short timetable, risks must be taken, and sacrifices have to be made. People are not pawns in chess, you smug... Nope, nope, calm down. We're going to get him eventually. 
Show me that you are the defender of the realm that I know you to be, and accept this terrible responsibility. Not for me, but for our people. For the Reach. I understand, Father, and I'll do what you ask. For the glory of the Reach. And the video feed winks out. A test pattern replaces it. Gods, it doesn't even matter what else is in the archive. With this, we could turn the Torians against the Directorate. Protector Calderon will want Espinosa's head on a plate. You're damn right he will, and I intend to sit back and watch the show. I'll be watching it with you. There's a certain poetry in the idea of handing my uncle and cousin to Protector Calderon. I'm marking the evidence with my personal seal and selling, sending it to the Torian government. When they respond, we'll find out whether all of this was worth it, but in the meantime, we need to focus on getting Lord Madeira back. Only well, he would be on the throne world. It wouldn't make sense for them to take him anyplace else. Agreed, but if we move on Cormadir directly, the Directorate's naval fleet will attack our flank from their base on Ty uh, Tyrlon. If, on the other hand, we attack and liberate House Parada, there will be nothing my uncle can do to prevent us from invading Cormadir. We'll have him by the throat. I'll take my leave of you now. I have allies to rally and an army to marshal. The rest of the duration will summon you when our forces have been assembled for the assault. And we'll keep doing our thing until we receive your summons. Back to work, people. If we're going to stage an assault on Tyrlon, we're going to need all the firepower we can muster. You know what that means. Let's get to it. That mech you wanted, that mech is ready to fight, so let's put our two new salvaged light mechs into storage for now. We really have a, a reason to beat down the Directorate now. They staged a chemical attack, which is against the conventions within the universe. They've got one of our people, and we don't leave our people behind. And they're just evil. And I kind of want to shoot Victoria myself. But that's going to come in not too long of a time. I think we're getting really close to the end of this entire campaign. Freeing the Reach, restoring the Irano dynasty, freeing the people from this tyrannical... Nope, I'm not going to get angry. I love it when a game can do that. I actually want to hurt the leader of the Directorate, Director Espinoza, because, well, he's a monster. But that's going to do it for this week, guys. If you liked the video, please consider that like button. If you'd like to join up with the 232, see yourself pop up in this or other Let's Plays, just hit that subscribe button, and make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss when a new video goes out. And remember, guys, life is a game, so play to win. And until next time, take care.